So we're gonna get into a little bit of venomous today. These are Panaceous vipers. They're from a higher montane area in central Java. These are two different color variants, actually also pattern variants. They are not very happy little snakes, but very interesting. We have a lot of vipers here on the farm and we're gonna go through them all and show the variety. Without getting too uh, hands-on, these are probably both males. Females usually within the viper, viper family are always, the males are the smaller ones and the females are quite a lot larger. All right, let's move on. So we, are, we have a female of the same species, much bigger, big, big head and very spunky. This one's already tasted the shaft of the hook, but uh, very cryptic, really, really beautiful animal. So here we have Sumatranus, it's a male on your left and a female on your right. Such beautiful snakes. The size difference between the genders is always really amazing to me, but, uh, but the appearance also very, very interesting. But they sure are beautiful. And this one here is Waggler Eye, female, big and fat, full of food. And maybe going into shed, possibly. <coughs> big triangular head. Very, very pretty. Sumatra. From Sumatra. And this one here looks like it's probably a little male, Puparea maculata. They come in a couple different color forms, kind of a range from green to a brown, red, and then the highly desirable black form. So these species here are from northern Sumatra, and they, uh, their habitat is, is mangrove swamp with uh, the water that uh, basically leads out to the ocean. They're not easy to keep, and they are very, very aggressive. So here's another Puparea maculata. This one is more to the greenish range of color. Kind of a mix between both. Beautiful red eyes. So another Puparea maculata. This is the other end of the color spectrum. This one is the green form. All these animals are collected in the exact same area. And uh, that's why you get the uh, color variation and some pattern variation also between all that locality. Very, very beautiful. And purple spotted kukri snake. Yesterday there were none. Today there's a couple, like I said in the very beginning of the video series, stock around here changes in a day. But anyway, very interesting snake. Actually very, very easy, easy captives. They love eggs and they love the, uh, you know, egg yolk and that sort of thing. When I keep them at home, I just get a small bowl, I'll crack a chicken egg with all the, uh, the yolk and the whites in it. And um, they just come and suck it all down. Very, very easy to feed these guys. Pretty easy going when you're gentle with them. When things get, start to get a little bit rough, that's when they show their full capabilities with their rear fang. They give you a nice slice, hence the name Kukri. But very cool snake, like these guys. So today is delivery day for the chicks, for all these monitors. And they know it, they smell it, they know it. These are all Salvadori, these are croc monitors. And they are all out waiting for food.
when it's not a feeding day, they're either hiding or up in the back of the enclosures. And now it's feeding day, it's something else. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was actually a lot of work for me because we're juggling a video project and some photography and business at the same time. But we spent our days here on the farm. We have pretty much accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. The selection is superb. It's gonna be a really fantastic shipment. Now, the weather here, it seems like every single time I come to visit the farm, the weather pattern is identical. We usually get rained out at about 12.30, 1 o'clock. The storm starts and starts to rain us out. But anyway, that looks like how this video is probably going to end. We are done on the farm and we will come back at you. We are flying to Thailand tomorrow. All right, subscribe to the videos, see our adventures, and take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.